Hi there. This is a short video to show the Gigabyte motherboard, Z68 motherboard, power cycling. This is a brand new motherboard. It is a gig Gigabyte GAZ68A D3HB3, as you can see. Um, I've had it power cycling. I've tried so many different things on this, and it will never ever boot. Basically, this is the setup. Gigabyte board, as you know. I have an, a Core i5 2500K CPU. I have the stock cooler on top. I have applied my own thermal paste onto it, so I know that that is perfectly fine. It is, however, a bit tricky the way that it, it fits in. Also, I have two G Skill Ripjaw memory sticks. 4 gigabytes each, totaling 8 gigabytes in both slots. I have set them up differently. I have set it up for. I've tested one in all four, and then I've tested the other one in all four. That makes no difference. I have the ATX power cable, 24 pin, going to my old OCZ Game Extreme 700 watt power supply unit, which I know works perfectly fine because it works perfectly fine in my old PC setup, which you can see kind of hiding underneath. Also, the cable going to the 12 volt. Now, the cable from this PSU actually has an 8 pin, but it splits into one that says CPU 1, and this, as you can probably see, says CPU 2 on it. This motherboard just has a 4 pin 12 volt connector, so I've just connected one connector there. The fan is obviously connected to the CPU fan. And the CMOS battery is in there. I have taken it out and left it for half an hour and put it back in. Made no difference. There are jumper cables there as well for the CMOS resetting. I've tried that method. That hasn't solved the problem either. Also in there you can actually see the power switch which is connected to the power switch on my case. That is why I've set it up in this precarious position above my PSU because there is no other way of me getting that power cable, that power switch out. Also to note right now is that the PSU is actually connected to everything in my else in my machine. So the fans on the machine, which are powered from the power supply, supply unit, they will turn on when I turn this on. Uh, you can ignore that, it has no bearing whatsoever. I have done it with just this 24ATX and the 12 volt connected. Everything else connecting has no effect on it. I have done it with just those two in. Okay, I'm gonna turn it on. I'm sure you're fed up with me talking. And this is what happens. This is it. This is what happens. This is why it power cycles. Also, to note, I have actually got the DVI cable connected to my monitor, but that doesn't make any difference at all. I have taken that out. Okay, I'll turn it on. You'll see what happens. Well, actually, I won't because it needs to be plugged in first. Always handy. As you can see, the power supply unit is there. Let me just turn that on. So you know that's working. Maybe, maybe possibly able to hear the power supplies that came on. Maybe you can't. I'll turn it on and you'll see what happens. That was four seconds. As you can see, the monitor is turned on and it is completely 100% blank. So yeah, that's my video. It just goes like this. Round and around she goes. Epic fail.